This is the Ramapa Temple. Situated in Palampet in Telangana, the 13th century Ramapa Temple was recently inscribed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. In a virtual meeting of the World Heritage Committee, 17 countries backed the move to ensure the heritage tag for the site. The nomination for a World Heritage Site for the Ramapa Temple was made in 2014. The site was in the reckoning for inscription in 2020, but the World Heritage Committee meeting was delayed by the COVID-19 pandemic. In 2019, the International Council on Monuments and Sites cited nine shortcomings at the site. But during the World Heritage Committee meeting, a majority agreed on India's view about the site's outstanding universal value. The Ramapa Temple, also known as the Kakatiya Rudreshwara Temple, was built in the interest of Racherla Senapati Rudraya, a general of Kakatiya King Ganapati Deva in the 13th century. It is perhaps the only temple in the country that is known by the name of its architect rather than the king who commissioned it or its presiding deity. Located in Palampet, about 220 kilometers from Hyderabad, the main temple is flanked by the collapsed structures of the Kateshwaraya and Kameshwaraya temples. The temple is known for its exquisite craftsmanship and delicate relief work. It is a savvy blend of technical know-how and materials of its time. The foundation of the temple is built with the sandbox technique. The flooring is granite and the pillars are made of basalt. The temple has a 10 feet wide Pradakshinapada or corridor with walls, pillars and ceilings with intricate carvings. The lower part of the temple is red sandstone, while the white gopuram is built with light bricks that reportedly float on water. An inscription dates the temple to 1135 Samvat Saka on the 8th day of Magha or January 12, 1214. According to the temple priest, some of the iconography on the temple was damaged during the invasion of Malik Kafur in 1310. Treasure hunters vandalize the rest. But the biggest test for the temple was a massive earthquake in the 17th century. The flooring was rocked by the shock waves while the pillars and vertical structure stayed intact because of the sandbox technique used in its construction. It is the first World Heritage Site in Telangana and the hope is that it will help revive domestic and international tourism in the state.